the gold catcher concentrator. Patented, and then introduced into the mining industry in 2005. It is designed as an entry-level gold recovery solution. The gold catcher's recovery mechanism is similar to the nuts and or curl bowls, but it is superior in a number of aspects. Firstly, the gold catcher recovers much finer gold than competing technologies. Secondly, the riffles have a much better design. They allow for much easier concentrate cleaning. As well as lessen gold losses due to compaction. With the gold catcher, you will be able to recover more gold, without using any mercury. We are also the first to offer either a petrol or electric drive option. The petrol version gives you a fast mobile prospecting solution. So, how does it work? To begin, you will have to start up your new machine. If you have the electric motor version, then start up is very straightforward and involves switching the main breaker on. If you have the petrol motor version as shown, you will first have to move the throttle into the start position. Next, you must pull on the start cord handle, taking care not to injure yourself or others. You may have to pull a few times until the motor starts. Adjust the throttle until the bowl rotates at approximately 100 revs per minute. You can measure this with a digital tachometer. Or you can simply count the number of times the black patch on the bowl passes your view in one minute. There are three sets of water valves to turn on. Open the tailings laundry valve first. After that, open the water valves above, supplying the two water jets inside the feed funnel. Lastly, open the wash hose water valve. You are now ready to run material through the machine. Proceed to load your sand or clay material onto the 3mm feed screen using a shovel. Wash the material thoroughly, so that the undersize passes into the gold catcher. If your material has a lot of clay, then you will not be able to run the full tonnage throughput. If that is the case, we recommend that you pre-screen your material, to address the time-limiting wash factor. If the pre-screening process takes too long, then we recommend that you purchase one of our RG scrubbers, to help with clays and large rock loads. When the screen becomes fully loaded with washed material, and wash washing becomes difficult, you need to remove the screen from the funnel, and dump the oversize. The oversize can later be crushed, and run through the gold catcher. Alternatively, you could purchase an RDGK hard rock plant, for the same purpose. Once the oversized discard is complete, replace the screen on the machine, then continue to load feed material. After about an hour, the bowl should be loaded enough to perform the concentrate wash cycle. Stop feeding material, stop the motor, and turn all the water valves off. Using the wash water hose, dislodge all the concentrate from inside the gold catcher riffles. Wash all the concentrate into the bottom of the bowl, near the bowl plug. Next, reach into the bowl and pull the plug out. The concentrate should immediately start draining into the concentrate box below. Use the wash hose to clean the bowl th thoroughly, making sure to leave no gold behind. To further upgrade the gold catcher concentrate force melting, you can either pan it, which is relatively time consuming. The alternative, is to use the Gemini bullion upgrade table. This table is both mercury free and produces a high grade product. The Gemini concentrate can be smelted into gold bars. Let's take a look at the various features and specifications. Two to three tons per hour material throughput, 
which is largely dependent on your clay content. 2 to 4 cubic meters of water per hour is required. The gold catcher has a nominal feed size of 3 millimeters. 0.75 kilowatts of installed power. Order today, and join the gold catcher rush. Visit aptprocessing.com. The world leaders in modular mineral processing plants.